Three, two, one, zero. Mission and lift off. A picture-perfect launch from the Space Coast. NASA and SpaceX teamed up to light up the sky early this morning and send four astronauts to the International Space Station. We brought it to you live on News 6 just before 6 o'clock. And no matter where you were to watch the launch, the images were breathtaking. Yeah, but the person who may have had the best view was News 6's Eric Von Engen. The astronauts have now slipped out of their spacesuits and into their flight suits for the rest of the ride to the space station over the next 24 hours. They couldn't see it, of course, but their liftoff from pad 39A behind me and then the landing of their rocket booster was one of the most memorable ever. Slicing through the sunless sky, soaring up the eastern seaboard, everybody along the coast from central Florida to South Carolina could see the Falcon 9 and then separating from the Dragon capsule and dropping back to Earth, creating a pulsating jellyfish shape with each burst of the nine engines to slow the rocket back to the barge floating in the Atlantic. Hello, Earth. It's uh, great to be back in space again after a few years for me. Um, ride was really smooth. Megan MacArthur was in the pilot seat, the same seat from which her husband, Bob Bankin of the Bob and Doug team, flew the same Dragon to the space station last May on the capsule's first human flight. This time, though, she was the one saying goodbye to Bob and their seven-year-old son for the next six months, only allowed to get close enough to snap a picture, no hugs. But she did bring along a penguin as the zero gravity indicator. They named it Gwyn Gwyn for the kids. We had an incredible launch. Um, hopefully you guys got to watch it this morning. Uh, as right as the sun was rising, we took off. Uh, we chased the sun pretty quickly and caught it up uh, just a few minutes after we took off. Shane Kimbrough is the commander. His grandparents lived just down the road from the Kennedy Space Center during the Apollo era, the reason he became an astronaut. It's hard to believe that uh, we're here doing this, quite frankly. You know, feels like a dream. Elon Musk, the founder and CEO of SpaceX, was also there to send off the astronauts. And at the press conference after the launch, he was noticeably subdued compared to previous launches. He explained why. It's very, very intense. Um, I suppose it does get a little bit easier, but it's still extremely intense. And uh, I, I usually can't sleep the night before launch, and that's was true of the, the night before this one. So I haven't had much sleep. The astronauts will try to get some sleep before another big day tomorrow. They're docking with the International Space Station right around 5 a.m. And then the rest of the work begins. They have some 200 experiments planned over the next six months. At the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Aiken getting results. News 6. All right, and there were many memorable moments that happened overnight leading up to the launch. Just after 2.30 this morning, the astronauts said goodbye to their families before they were taken out to the launch pad in Teslas. Now, from a distance, they snapped some photos with their kids, blew air kisses, and gave them air hugs. So if you missed this morning's launch or just want to see it again, and why wouldn't you, we've posted the replay online at clickorlando.com. There you can also read more about the Crew 2 astronauts. Just look for the story. It is on the homepage.